FTB Film Study is sponsored by the 409 Tailgate Club. For the best tailgate sauces, barbecue dry rubs, and Bloody Mary mix, visit 409tailgateclub.com today. What's up, guys? Welcome back for the bloggy. Here we go. Today we're going to talk about Michigan, the Penn State defense, and we're going to talk about how the fifth best running defense in the nation gave up 400 plus yards in a very crucial game in the Big Ten. Let's talk about our gaps. Let's talk about getting guys to the party. Let's talk about how sometimes aggression isn't the best key. All right, guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit comments. You know the drill. Here we go. The first play I want to show you is early in the first quarter, and this is kind of the setting tone. So really what you're going to see right here is trips to the field, and you're going to see a nub tight end. Now, there's a reason they do this, because they put a conflict in here. So really, you've got a, you've got a one inside shade of the guard, a five outside shade of the tackle, a three outside shade of the guard and a seven, which means that somebody has to have the outside gap. Now, understand how defenses work. We've talked about this previously. Every person's in charge of a gap. So without any blitzing or stunting, everyone's got a gap. He's got a gap. Okay, there's a gap there, gap there, gap there, gap there, gap there, and a gap here. So if you just look at this basically saying is anything on the outside has got to be taken by this linebacker. Now, that's asking a lot. Now what makes it even harder is they block down and they pull the center and guard. So now you've added two gaps to this side and nobody comes and takes over. So now you're asking number 23 to hold the edge to force things back in. Well, it's kind of hard to do when you're that guy. So remember, they pulled two guys over, which means now they have added an extra couple gaps. Well, nobody came over with them. Notice the free safety playing high here. Notice the linebacker doesn't do anything and stay there because the RPO has him frozen. Okay, so now they brought two guys to the party, and we've only brought one, and therefore you now have an extra gap, and there's nobody to fit that gap. Okay, so again, they outgapped you. Okay, now, eye formation. This is old school football. This is double tied eye stuff right here. Okay, this is double tied eye stuff. Now, take a look. I want to show you something. Again, seven a five, a nine. So who's the outside contain guy? It's going to be this guy right here. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is I want to show you the, the understanding of who has what gaps. He has this gap. He has this gap. This linebacker has this gap. He has this gap. This linebacker has this gap, this gap. He has this gap. And this kid has this gap. Now let's talk about this. Now they pull the guard around, which means they have to have one extra fitter to that side. Nobody goes over. All right. He gets walled off, he gets cut off, and then there's your extra gap. Again, they brought a puller, and nobody came over with them. This was just bad gap football. Okay, this is bad gap football. The linebacker did a good job fitting. This guy has to fit over the top and fit in that alley. He doesn't get there in time, and they get gashed for a big game. All right, here we go again. Notice how we talk about this is tackle over, which means this is unbalanced. This is actually the left tackle. This is a tight end. This is really interesting because what people are trying to do here is they're trying to make you make a decision. This is an eligible receiver, so they have to have somebody on him. But, again, go back and look. What are your gaps? You have a guy here. You have a guy here. Okay? You have that linebacker has that gap. He has that gap. He has that gap. We don't have this. That basically means that he's got this gap. He's got this gap. Now, they pulled a guy around and bring a fullback from the backfield, so they brought two extra gaps. Did you see them bring two extra guys to the party? No. This guy is out here playing the flat for the pass. He's playing outside leverage, all right, on a passing. And this is, again, this is not a passing formation. This is a run-heavy formation. They're trying to get three offensive linemen to the point of attack right now. And all they do is they just run GF, and they just kick this thing out. It's like a power. Again, they got out gapped at the point of attack. We talked about this earlier that Manny Diaz's defense is extremely volatile and it's very aggressive. And sometimes it comes back to haunt you. Okay, so here we go again. Now you have what we call like a tray squeeze look. So now there is one, two, three, four, okay, five, six gaps to the side. They better bring six to the party. They move a guy over, okay, they move a guy over, and now you've got a zone read concept. So now they know that he's going to play down and squeeze. He knows this linebacker is going to get over. But they brought two to the party. We only brought one. And there's your reason this gets this takes off. Again, it goes back to understanding if people pull and move, okay, they have to be able to go with you. And you have to be able to gap with them. Michigan in these previous four plays, all they've done is they've just brought extra people to the, to the party. And nobody on Penn State's matched it.
Okay, so now we're in another unbalanced formation, meaning this guy right here is actually an ineligible receiver. There's no eligible receiver up here, okay? So that means that none of the corners or safeties are going to be sitting on this side over here because everyone eligible is over here. Now, they move guy in motion, and it's the same concept. The only difference is he now blocks this kid. He wraps around, and now what happens is they try to bring too many to the party. He tries to rotate. He tries to go over. He tries to come. Now Penn State over-rotated, and they got out-gapped at the point of attack because these linebackers are now trying to take care of the read. They just got burned on, and this ended up being a huge run. All right, you can see it from here. Let's explain how this, this one works right here. This is a really good one. Again, we talked about gap control. So what you're going to see right here is you're going to see a jet motion. Okay, They're bringing guys to the party. This means that they're going to have to rotate across because they're bringing an extra guy. But what's happening is they're, they're running counter for the quarterback here, okay? And they're going to kick and go. So now we're going to get a down block. We're going to get a down block. We're going to work to here. We're going to kick this guy. We're going to wrap around for this guy, and he's got him. Notice how Michigan has numbers. That's not good in this situation. Now everyone has a guy blocked, and this is where we run into a problem. Let's watch this thing again. I, want you, I really want to show you this. And it's really important that you see how this works. They fall for the jet sweep. We can get around. Then I watch. Nobody extra comes to play the quarterback to this side. Again, I think this was a, just a simple game plan thing. It wasn't a physicality thing as much as it was. I think, I think Manny Diaz tried too hard to be fancy, to be honest with you. And Michigan said, you know, we're just going to get into it, and we're going to run power, and we're going to run it down your throats, and there's nothing you can do about it. So here we go again. This should look oddly familiar previous play before now instead of three it's four you have you have a trips look to the field you have a nub tied into the boundary you have a guy inside leverage now you've got a guy playing outside guys football ain't hard it's numbers it's leverage it's gaps they bring two across they don't bring two over you've got one you've got two he gets cut off see you later again Guys, it's not complex. They literally are in the same play. Michigan actually outcoached them because Penn State didn't adjust. Okay, I want to show you this again. All they did was pin this thing around. They got to their guys. They matched numbers, and we're out the gate. Again, outgapped, outschemed. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see it from here. I want you to see how it happens. Notice again, there's only one eligible receiver here, and it's this guy. So this means that this guy right here probably has him man-to-man. -man, okay, and he sees this guy go down. So now he's got to try to trigger. Guys, he's a skill player. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to take that block on. That's a massive human being. Okay. So he's not going to be super aggressive like a linebacker would. All he's trying to do is push this thing back inside. And then this is what happens. When you get cut off, there's nothing you can do. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I see the same formation again? What was Penn State's answer? They're going to run what's called an underfront, which means now they're going to run a five, a three, a shade a seven and a nine so now they have the numbers to this side well michigan being an intelligent football team they're just gonna say okay now you've matched my numbers now i'm gonna outmatch your number play side and there you go let's not even talk about poor angling poor angle tackling poor tackling in general but watch watch how the flow happens it's just inside zone this is literally just inside zone and what's going to happen He's going to get blocked down. He's going to step up because he's used to getting guys coming. This guy's going to come outside. He's going to match. Well, guess what? If they're going to run buck sweep again, well, now I got numbers. But guess what? They just run inside zone. Now they outmatch us in the middle, and we're done. Okay, let's watch it from here. Here we go. Same thing. I want to show you this. They've got numbers now. So if they were to run buck sweep, oh, they're going to cover that. But you got inside zone. And so now gap, gap, gap gap nobody filled that gap right here let's talk about this one now third and 14 okay they're in a two by two wide split you've got three over two you've got three over two this is a passing situation which means you have five on five all they do is they basically run inside zone this is all they do they run inside zone the linebacker doesn't fit Okay, the fold linebacker doesn't fit fast enough, and we're out the gate. Again, let's talk about it. Five blockers, five, there should be six gaps. If there's five blockers, 
there's six gaps. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. So somebody has to fit. Well, guess what? He didn't fit. And so now you're out the gate for a big game. That right there, I thought, was the, was the nail in the coffin for Penn State.